What's up everybody, this is Danny, and today I partner with Qualcomm to dive into what actually makes cameras like the Galaxy S22 Ultra so good. I've been using this camera for about a month now, so I'm gonna show you samples as we spend a day together. We got a lot to talk about. This is gonna be a good one, so let's just jump right into it. I think the biggest misconception is that to get better photos that you have to have new camera hardware and while we did see the first one inch sensor come to the smartphone this year which I'm really excited about that really isn't what makes these cameras so good what if I told you that it's AI that makes these cameras so good no 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 not that type of AI I know what you're thinking let me explain The Galaxy S22 Ultra is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor, which is incredibly powerful, but when looking at the chipset, we're not just looking at the CPU, it's more of a platform. There's a lot of components that work together. The new 18-bit triple ISP is very important to the outcome of the image because that's what captures the information, allowing more color and dynamic range this year. But what a lot of people don't know is there are very powerful infused AI accelerators in the Hexagon processor, which is the heart of the seventh generation Qualcomm AI engine that work together with the ISP to make a lot of this camera magic happen. We can get technical and talk about how this is the fastest AI engine ever and the tensor operation performance has been doubled or there is doubled the shared memory. But here we're gonna talk everyday language the reason why AI is so important because it enhances pretty much everything that we do on a smartphone, including the camera. The separate AI processing allows the functions to be incredibly fast with minimal latency. Take a look at this demo where you can ask a question on a document or a book and it finds the answer for you, which is awesome on its own already. But on the CPU, it took two seconds, which isn't bad at all. But with AI processing, it took a fraction of a second, which is insane. And what's cool is AI can work with the CPU concurrently to make things even faster. And what's most important is that it draws less power, increasing battery life, and you don't even have to do anything. It just all happens in the background. For example, here are a few features on the Galaxy S22 Ultra camera that leverage AI. You know that box that appears around your face when you take a picture of yourself or a group? That's always on face detection. That's an AI use case. That portrait mode video that got so much better this year, this is a result of faster AI. Here's a demo of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 reference device, and this shows you just how many points on the face are being tracked in real time, and even with portrait mode video going at the same time, and tracking skeletal movement as well, the seventh generation Qualcomm AI engine isn't even breaking a sweat. The zoom range and flexibility is one of the best things about the Galaxy S22 Ultra and smooth and intelligent zoom that we are used to is also AI assisted. There is a new detail enhancer this year to bring out more in your photos that also uses AI. Have you ever taken a picture and the background is just completely blown out and then when you hit that shutter, everything is balanced and multi-frame HDR was applied like magic? Yeah, that's also AI. I mean, I could just keep going. I mean, should I keep going? All right, let's keep going. The ultra wide camera that we all love. Remember when the distortion was so bad that the image just looks super weird? Now we have AI assisted ultra wide correction. The scene optimizer is where the camera recognizes a flower or a sunset and changes the settings to optimize the image. And I think that's one of the first cases that we saw with AI. And what about that fancy object removal that I'm constantly blown away by where you can just make things disappear like magic? There are so many more things like the remaster feature where you can take an old looking photo and make it look sharp again. There's a really big difference here. So I wanna give kudos to Samsung for really optimizing the camera experience on the Galaxy S22 Ultra because I think it's their best yet. I saw some really exciting things that AI is doing to make the camera experience better. I never take panorama shots because they take forever, but soon we won't have to pan and wait for stitching because on this demo that I saw from Snapdragon Summit, it's literally just one click. Instant panorama captures, I can't wait for that one. If you haven't seen the Leica Lights One phone, then this is a perfect example of AI. There are lights look filters that emulate legendary Leica cameras. Right now it's just monochrome, but there are three more camera emulations coming to the Snapdragon platform. So again, really exciting stuff for cameras moving forward. Of course, AI goes beyond the camera for many cool things on the smartphone. So you know that S Pen that we all love on the S22 Ultra, the handwriting to text conversion? 
that's AI assisted. And the crystal clear phone calls that I take every day, I can thank AI for the noise suppression and the voice enhancement. And this one is going to blow your mind with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. AI can be leveraged to optimize network reception. AI can detect your hand placement on the phones and optimize which antennas are best for the fastest data speeds. Now that's smart. The always-on sensing hub is new this year. It can detect automatic activities such as exercise and keep the data all in one place. And the always-on camera is a really neat addition. This can keep your device more secure. When you aren't looking at the phone, it turns off, but when you look back at it, you can access it without touching the display, which is neat. And this has so much potential. Let's say that if you have nosy friends or nosy neighbors and they look over your shoulder and the phone detects another face, it can actually dim or shut off the display. So I think that's pretty cool. What do you think about that? And for all the gamers out there, AI is being leveraged for upscaling resolutions and smoother rendering so your games look sharper and more fluid. Now that we talked about how AI shines in our modern day smartphones, let's talk about some of the other tech that it powers. And right now I'm being safe, but there is a Skydio 2 drone following us and I'm not flying it. I'm serious. It is tracking us by AI, avoiding obstacles and everything. It's pretty insane what this thing is doing. And that's what's awesome about AI is because it's taking something that's hard to fly like a drone and making it accessible for regular users. And I think this is going to be great for regular consumers and filmmakers. All right, so let me go ahead and pull over and we'll talk more about it. The Skydio 2 drone is powered by Qualcomm technology and it's available right now. So this is awesome for consumers. But what I'm really excited about is what they're doing with the Qualcomm Flight RB5 flight platform. I got to check this out in person. It's a full commercial 5G enabled reference design and development kit that is ready to go with everything it needs with 360 obstacle avoidance up to 8K 30 frames per second and 4K 120 frames per second for super high resolution visuals with multiple camera feeds and flight controller support so it can be flown manually. But this is meant to be more autonomous and I got to see it in action and it's amazing to see a 5G drone just flying on its own. But what really has me excited is the use cases beyond just film and entertainment. This already has been tested on deliveries with Uber Eats, the transport of vaccines and medications that can be delivered so fast with drones. I can see this being huge for the medical industry. If you didn't know, I used to be an ER nurse and transferring patients from one hospital to another can take a long time. So let's say that you need a critical medication. Instead of trying to fight through traffic and getting that medication, a drone's gonna be a lot faster from point A to point B. So you can save somebody's life with autonomous drones. Public safety is also a big one. Imagine drones flying through a disaster scene like a fire before anyone's even dispatched. Firefighters could see a live 5G video feed before they even get there and they can fully prepare so they know exactly what to expect. I never even thought of this one, but autonomous drones being used for inspection of infrastructure like bridges and things like gas pipes can be more efficiently inspected in a fraction of the time. So drone technology that is fully autonomous powered by AI and 5G technology is going to be very important in the future. Okay, so now that I'm at home, let's talk smart home. And if you know me at all, you know I love smart home. I've done so many videos. I've even done a tour of my entire house. So if you wanna check out my smart home, I'll leave my ultimate smart home playlist so you can go ahead and check it out. But Qualcomm powers so much IoT, I can guarantee you that you own something in your house that's powered by Qualcomm. For example, in my home, I have a mesh router system that is made by Orbi and that has Qualcomm technology in it. And if you use a Roomba S9 Plus robot vacuum and Brava Jet M6 robot mop combo like I do, that is also powered by Qualcomm with AI assisting in the machine learning of maps and efficient cleaning. I thought my smart home was sweet until I saw Qualcomm's smart campus. I mean, that thing looked like Batman should have been controlling it. That's how wild it was. 
This was to show what IoT can do outside the smart home, more into a smart city. And if you've ever seen what Qualcomm's campus looks like, it's literally buildings upon buildings upon buildings. So it's basically a city on its own. I was really impressed. Everything was connected from the parking, the energy management, security, the waste management. It was really a sight to see. There were a few things that stood out that I think could be beneficial for all cities. First was how they had the parking set up. Every spot was monitored, which makes a lot of sense. You can see exactly how many handicapped spots were left, how many expected mother spots were available, how many EV and so on. And the best part for me was the reverse car search. So if you just totally forgot where you parked, you could describe your car by color, make, model, maybe just a few letters of the license plate, and then it would just point you in the right direction. The security was also incredible, using cameras and AI to detect faces that maybe weren't supposed to be in the building. It even recognized in real time when we were there that there was a crowd forming so social distance could be maintained. By far the coolest thing though was the LiDAR based tracking. With just a few LiDAR sensors, Qualcomm can see the traffic of places like their dining areas and could count how many people were there in a day. I know a lot of you are like, nope, I don't want any of this because this is like big brother stuff, but they did show off some really practical applications of where this can be used, like in an airport where they can monitor traffic and they can also identify bottlenecks. And all employees would have to do is wear a reflective name tag because LiDAR works off of light reflections. So think about this one. If the cleaning crew wears these reflective badges, they can analyze where they have been and where they haven't been and identify areas that need to be sanitized. So this could be great for public health. But right away, I started thinking theme parks because what if they could tell you wait times in real time, not estimated time, and think about what retailers could do with long lines at checkouts. I mean, I was literally pumped after leaving there to see where this tech could go. I even got to see a printable computer chip. Yes, you heard me right printable. These were meant to go on any package or anything that was being transferred. And something this thin has GPS, temperature sensors, and everything built in. I literally couldn't believe it. Can you imagine how revolutionary this is for the food industry to put this label on food, transport it across the world, and then give your customer a peace of mind that it's been kept to temperature the entire time with real data? Yeah, this really blew my mind. So I hope you enjoyed the day with me and learned something about AI. It really is the silent star of the show. And without it, we wouldn't have amazing products like the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. And it really does go beyond the smartphone. Now that I know more about it, I'm so glad it's there. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe for a lot more videos like this one, and I will see you guys in the next one. Do we have AI to cut out people cutting grass outside? I could use some of that noise cancellation right now.